In lecture, I am going to discuss about how to install PHP Storm on Ubuntu operating system. After that, going to run this code. So, if I open the terminal and uh, if I write PHP minus minus version, then you can see PHP version 8.36 that already installed. So, first thing is in your system, PHP must be there. After that, let's go on this Google search box. In Google search box, write there PHP Storm. Then you need to go on this jetpins.com site. So click uh, that site. Now the next is, here you need to click on this download button. And this for Windows, Mac and Linux, available for. So here, let's click on this download button. So download button and now here you can see PHP Storm 2024.14 tar.zz file is now downloading. The size 808 MB. So the file of PHP Storm that's downloaded completed. Thereafter, you need to click on this so on folder and now going to close this one. So right click there, then click on this extract. So file here, preparing to extract. If I click this, then you can see the file is extracting with this speed. So here, extracting PHP. A storm 2024. So that's done here. Next is the new directory that's created. Let's click on this open and open once again. Then you need to go on this bin directory. There you can see there is a uh, a file called so let's press here p then you can see php storm is there so here you can see php storm dot sh file right click then opening terminal so with the help of terminal that going to install there php storm so here Press dot, then backwards slash, write there php storm dot sh. Press enter. So when you press enter, then uh, the new uh, page that's open there. So let's click, select here, don't import setting, click on OK. And here you can see some process is going on as well. Now, the new page that's open is start free 13 days trial for PHP Storm. So you need to click this. Day after, let's click on this. So there is a, a website of judgments that's open. Here you can get the thank you message. So here, let's click on this plus. Then you can create the PHP empty project, PHP workshop project here, WordPress, Angular. You can create any kind of project according to your requirement. So let's give here PHP app. So creating the PHP empty project, the name is PHP app. And this location, the app uh, project is creating. Let's click on this create button. So here, now you can see there is a new page that's open there. And uh, this is now install AI assistant. You can install if you want. This here indexing. Now the project that's created there, let's right click. Then after you can create here, this files. So PHP, PHP, this all docker, then JavaScript, TypeScript, you can create. 
let's uh, click on this PHP file. So giving the the name hello, and you can select the tabs PHP four, PHP five, according to your requirement. Let's click on this OK. The file that's created hello. Now let's copy this code and uh, pasting there. So you can run this code inside the JetBrains PHP Storm. So when you click there, here you can see hello world that's displaying. Or if you want, then you can get the output inside the browser. So for this one, let's select your Firefox. So Firefox that's selected, local host and hello world that's displaying there. After that, let's add the two number. So this is the code to add the two number. Select this, Control S to save. Now let's run hello.php. Then you can see the sum of 10, 20, 13 that's displaying. And the same output you can get into the browser with the help of PHP Storm. This the sum of 10 and 20 is 30 that's displaying. So this is how we can install PHP Storm on Ubuntu operating system. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.